Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And we are back here at Laguna Equitos. In the last episode, we had jumped in over this boat dock, and this location managed to catch some pretty good sized fish over there. This one, I think we're going to start off over here at this spawn point, because the way this was reading here basically is showing you the dark blue water is where you can use a regular boat. The light blue water, you have to have either one of the paddle kayaks or maybe a canoe. I've got a paddle kayak here. We're going to try that because I really like using that. It like, enables us to go back in some areas that you can't take a regular boat. We're going to jump in here. and Yeah, this is definitely not regular boat territory. I mean, canoes and kayaks only. <laughs> I'm kind of curious what you could catch here. Look at the size of these lily pads. Those are some massive lily pads. Let me go ahead and board the boat here. Yeah, this is... This is an interesting spot. Beautiful, actually. I think we're going south. Not 100% sure about that. Kind of curious what we might catch here. Actually, I might go ahead and try fishing if I see any fish. I haven't picked up anything on the little fish finder yet. Well, this is cool. Cool as all get out. Yeah, I do believe that I am getting to deeper water here, so we might start picking up something a little bit bigger. Everything seems to be going in shade right now. Like I said, I'm not picking up on the f anything on the fish finder. I don't know if there's nothing in there, or if it's just not picking up. We're here to this bigger area. Open up. Might get some bigger species out here. Definitely getting deeper. I think a lot of big species, though, this is noon, I think a lot of them move out to the deeper water. That was what I had run it. We were starting to pick up some species. There we go. Now we're getting stuff. Let's see what happens if we do too big. Try 
got a bully of us to start off with. What? Sure what? There we go. It's kind of a light blue. Not sure how effective it is. I'm going to try a few different lures. Anything takes to. There we go. Didn't actually take too long. Like I said, out here in the deep water, be a little bit more prevalent time of day. They move into the narrow water, shallow water. All right, got here. I think we got us a wolf fish. Hidden lagoon. Yeah, this is also called the, the Trahira. That's what they call it in fishing plant. I think the wolf fish is like a more local name, maybe. There we go. Got him. Ooh, he's a pretty green. Okay, wolfish. 13 pounds, 13 ounces. <laughs> Interesting combination of them there. Our first one. Not over this way. There's definitely some more fish out there. Seeing things on the sonar. Some aren't very big, some are fairly good size. There we go. Four strike though. Means I'm gonna have to fight a little harder. Yeah, I've seen quite a few Arapimas, but I think that's what it is. Probably another wolf fish. Yep. I have to get out of Wagwood, guys. Yeah, it's a wolf fish. She just marked a little bit. He's more of a brown. Got him. Oh, wow, he's much bigger than that other one. Went. Interesting coloration. 19 pounder. Got black speckles and kinds of interesting color. There we go. Something 
off this actually call it a shaker swim bait but it acts like a dying fish in the water it's definitely wolf fish in this area that's pretty much all I've been getting I've seen plenty of air pima but none of them have gone after any crowd Yeah, I think they did something where they just don't go for lures as much. They tend to go off the bottom. They had no problem going for it. He's bright blue. Prettiest one I've caught yet. We got him. This one is a beautiful color. That is a pretty fish. He's just as blue as he could be. Personal best. That's the best one I've got. 24 pounds. No ounces. 37.78 inches. Yeah, I'd definitely say, even if it wasn't for the size, the prettiest one. Yeah. Oh wow, we're getting all kinds of them. Pull this out again. It did pay off very well. Get another one or something like it. Try another spin, swim bait. Quite a few of them here. Be effective. That's the one we have. The big tremor shed, the big e fry daddy, shockwave bombshell. Could be interesting. Wasn't too bad. See, there was an aeroplane right there, but he is not going to. Whoa! Something almost did. I think that was a black pocket. Strike.
Another wolfish. Oh yeah. Staying under the water. Well, of course he's staying under the water. I mean, he's staying deep in the Can't see him. Um. Yes. Pretty strong. This is the first one it's taken off with. Up until now, they've all kind of stayed close. Yeah, this might not be a wolfish, guys. This might be something totally different. They have us an Arapaima. A lot stronger. I still cannot tell what he is. I don't think he's black cocky. They swim kind of spastic. Just moseying around. That's what I'm thinking of. Seem close enough. Yeah, it is an airplane. Without a doubt. Not a monster, but even the small ones are huge. We got him. Took a while. Whew. Nice fish. 193 pounds. <laughs> Caught that with a shockwave bombshell. That's good now that we know what to hit him with. 56 inches. Wasn't bad. Not bad at all. That one more time. Find on it in the next few minutes. Yeah, because I did see a Paku try to go for it last minute. Just pulled it into the boat and went for it. There we go. And I think it's one more wolf fish to end. In this trip, most of them wolf fish. Yeah, I would like to see, but 
anywhere there is in this lagoon that we could possibly bottom fish from. This is not a big, big guy. So. Muscle him in. Yeah, he's another green one. Yep, we got him. Yep, he's green. 18 pounder. Not as big as that blue one I got, but still a very pretty fish. Alright, guys. Well, definitely like the lagoon. I just don't know if there's anywhere we can spot him. That is something I'd like to build here. Because Sure, there's going to be some big fish here, and they're going to be a lot easier to get if you bought a fish. I'm going to paddle this thing down here and see if I see any docks or banks or something. Might be something that kind of looks like might be a beach over here. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I'll bring you back if I find any. Yeah, guys, I've been paddling along here. There's plenty of banks, but there's no get out of the boat. I've seen. Stand on the boat, but you cannot bottom fish. Yeah, I don't think you can bottom fish from here. I didn't see any docks. So, this is pretty much the only way to get over here. But, as I was paddling across here, Sonar was popping up some seriously big fish. So you're kind of limited to the waggler fishing, which I don't think you're going to get much with that. Or lure fishing. As you can see, look at all the fish swimming out in front of me. This is loaded with fish, and there's lots of activity. It's just there's no place on the banks that you can fish from. Again, no docks, nothing like that. Holy crap, look at that. Can't even imagine what's up. There's a whole school of them, whatever they are. But I... I again, it takes a little while to get out here. To, so you have to contend with that. But I think it's well worth it because I had some really good speed big ones too. And yeah, we're gonna find out what they are. Don't think that was a wolffish. If it is then they travel in schools and that really is kinda of surprising. Look at them all. This is not... I don't think it's a wolfish. Fast. 
Whatever it is, it's very fast. Oh. It might be a black pocket. Definitely moving like one. Yeah, it's Parker. It is a Parker. Come on. These guys. I think it's because their body is so wide. Heck of, heck of fighters. I've never seen one quite that color though. This is going to be a personal best because I never fought a pocket this long. We got him finally. Oh wow, he's massive. Black pocket. He's kind of pale. 34 pounds. What a heck of a fighter, I'd say that. That's interesting to know. Oh, I tell you, definitely an interesting place to fish. Well, get your butts over here and spend the time to make your way over. Well worth your while. Like I said, you can only really lure fish here. I might be able to use wagglers, but I don't think there's going to be a lot that's going to go for it. There are catfish here, but you're going to be getting smaller ones. I don't know if there's a carp here, but I'd have to check the list of species that are found here. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back with another episode of I come back here again. Maybe try to do some bottom fishings. Just what we can catch that way. But do it off of a dock, I guess. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye bye.